ragazzi, buongiorno e benvenuti a una nuova puntata del Let's Play di Yakuza Like a Dragon. Um, abbiamo fatto un po' di attività secondarie um, in queste ultime due, due Let's Play, mi sa. Mm -hmm. Però adesso possiamo andare a incontrare il presidente. Vediamo cosa succede. I went ahead and got started. You sure you don't mind treating me? What? Are you actually able to pay? Wish I could, but I don't think they'd take this. You don't sound like you're gonna relax during this meal. Depends on what you say. Hopefully I'll relax enough to enjoy the duck. So... How do you know Arakawa-san? I'm on the edge of my seat here. It wasn't long after the war the counterfeit bills started being produced in Ijincho. It was top secret. Only the heads of the Seiryu clan and the Liumang, plus some officers, knew about it. Outside of that inner circle, they also had to hire people to smuggle the bills. Smugglers? And one of them was a traveling actor. His name was Toshio Arakawa. He was Masumi Arakawa's father. What? One day, he came to us saying he lost an entire suitcase filled with a hundred mil in fake yen. No excuse in the world could have saved him. A mistake that grave required the Seiryu clan to make an example out of him for the other smugglers. <laughs> but remember, only a few people at the top even knew about the counterfeiting. It wasn't a task they could hand to just anybody. So I, being next in line to inherit the clan, was entrusted to carry it out. So did you... you actually... Yes. I killed Toshio Arakawa, father of Masumi Arakawa, in this very place, 40 years ago. But I had no idea who was in the room with my target. By the time I learned it was his 14-year-old son. It was too late. I had to go through with the hit, knowing this boy would see his father die. To make my guilt even worse, later I found out why Toshio lost the fake bills. His wife and her lover had stolen them. Those two fell into the ocean and disappeared. Their corpses were never even found. So Arakawa-san lost both his parents, one after the other. And his only other friends, the theater troupe, disbanded soon after without their leader. Masumi Arakawa became a drifter, along with a few other actors. They couldn't trust anyone, so what other path was there for them, except becoming Yakuza and Kamurocho? Arakawa joined a low-ranking family in the Tojo clan called the Hikawa family. Life wasn't easy for him there. They were the kind of family that took hits without thinking twice. Really? Yes. So they were always in need of ways to dispose of a body. Masumi Arakawa was tapped to help with that. And he was extremely cautious. To do it, he started coming all the way to the homeless camp in Ijincho. Really? Even though the family was based in Tokyo? Why? Well, truthfully, he wanted an excuse to come to Yokohama, because it would afford him opportunities to hunt his father's killer. I see. So Arakawa-san was using the homeless camp to dispose of bodies all the way back then. Indeed. As for his hunt, he researched Yakuza and criminals every time he was here. All he started with was a single clue. His own childhood memory of the suspicious waiter he saw here that night. Eventually, seven years after the murder, I received an invitation to come here. He signed his invitation Matsumi Arakawa. 
It was a bold declaration, and I knew immediately the running would be f So I came here, alone. I didn't even bring a bodyguard. Why the hell not? Well, to put it simply, I was prepared to die. But, I mean... In this line of work, there are no good ways to die. And I can think of worse ways to go that would not give that boy the justice he'd earned. The memory of what I'd done to him never left me, you know. It was always like a small bone stuck in my... He was sitting right where you are now. Here? Yes. He didn't look a day over twenty. But his eyes had that hard, flinty gaze of an old c I couldn't help myself. I told him everything. I told him why I killed Toshio Arakawa. I even told him about the secret counterfeiting. I figured I was dead anyway. He had a gun in his hand, and all he had to do was pull the trigger. But he never once interrupted me. When I'd finished, he slowly stood up. I stopped him as he turned to leave. Didn't you come here for revenge? I had... And? What did he say? He said, if only you had ignored my invitation. Then I could have shot you in the back. Then... he left. Uh, boss. In 1984, the 10,000 yen bill changed from the face of Prince Shotoku to Yukichi Fukuzawa. By that time, Arakawa had found his own Yakuza family. So I sent him a gift. What was it? A fresh batch of crisp, fake bills featuring Yukichi Fukuzawa. They were defective prints with nothing on the back. <laughs> Not exactly legal tender. Then how was that a gift? It's hard to explain. If I had to say... I was out of gratitude. Sure, but for what? I should have died that day I met with Arakawa. I would have been right. And yet he spared me. Not only that, but he lifted a terrible weight from my chest. Furthermore, it's not an exaggeration to say the equilibrium among the Ejin Three continues to this day because of... I owe him an unfathomable debt, and one day I, I must pay it back. The defective bills were how I chose to communicate the sentiment. The counterfeiting secret is Ijincho's weakness, and it was only thanks to Arakawa that the Ijin Three could continue to secretly wield that power. But of course, that means if he ever feels like it was a mistake to let me live, he could use the fake bills to unravel everything I've built. The gift wasn't the bills themselves. They were leverage. I actually wrote something on the back to that effect. Neither justice nor mercy should tip the scale. It means that those in power must reward and punish where necessary. I felt it was an appropriate message. I suppose the writing is faded at this point. Whoa. Masked in Japanese. So that's the whole story. Up till this moment. But now I'm sitting across from a man holding one of those fake pills. Which, of course, is a message from Arakawa that only I could understand. The message is, Masumi Arakawa sees you as a beloved family member. Arakawa-san thinks of me as family. He would not have placed that bill in your pocket lightly. Do you see its significance now? After everything I've told you. There is almost no doubt in my mind that Arakawa did not want you killed. So he didn't shoot you out of malice. He 
shot you so that you would be brought here, be saved by the homeless, and eventually meet up with D.U.C. <sighs> That's everything I can tell you. That's plenty. Thank you, Chairman. I see it all now. I always kind of figured. You did? Well, it's your move now. I've only told you what I know, so... It's okay. That's enough. I trust you. <laughs> well, I don't hear that often. Yeah, neither do I. Not even from my friends. But those friends are trustworthy to me. And so are you. I believe everything you said. And... My faith in Arakawa-san is coming back strong. Kasuga... Yeah? Are you... a blood relative of Arakawa's? <laughs> no, it's not like that. I see. Well, he must have been happy to have such loyalty as yours. As proud as any father, I think. Ma sicuro che questo è il figlio di Arakawa. E mo che ci stanno dentro? Capitolo 11. Contro i pronostici. Nagata Cho has been rocked by party chair Ogi Kubo's sudden retirement due to illness. Long a central figure in politics, Ogi Kubo was the Prime Minister's last ally in keeping Parliament together. An election shall be held to reaffirm the will of the people. I look forward to a new Citizens Liberal Party and a new cabinet. The Prime Minister made more shockwaves later that day. In the afternoon, he announced he would appoint Ryo Aoki to Ogi Kubo's now vacant. Aoki will be the first sitting governor to also serve as the ruling party's chair. This bold move is sure to have... Yeah, perché in Italia non ha in inglese un sacco di frasi durante il gioco non mi fa. Mm -hmm. Secondo me il giapponese è più corto. How are you feeling, former chairman? Surely the governor of Tokyo can read. My sign says no visitor. Oh, suddenly rules are important to you. Naturally. Shouldn't you concern yourself with the rules you've already broke? For example, counterfeiting. Your crimes put the entire national economy in... Do you know how many lives were saved by what you call a crime? Hundred. Any politician can say they built a road or passed a law, but how many can say they caught people who fell through the cracks? You think you're talented enough to do that in my stead? <laughs> oh, I've got plenty of talents. I just use them very differently compared... For example... I managed to fit your downfall into my already very busy skin. Your governor is the party chair. Nothing could be more ripe for corruption. Oh. Everything I'm gonna do will be labeled scandalous by withered old men like... But by next year, Japan will have a new standard, and it will have been written by... Spoken like a true amateur. <laughs> amateur, huh? Let me ask you. Do you remember my first election ten years ago? I asked you for the Citizens Liberal Party endorsement. You insulted me. Your exact words were, Bleach Japan is a bunch of kids playing at politics. Your home district is Kanagawa's second. Isn't that right? I'm happy to tell you. Bleach Japan will be running a candidate there in the next election, and he'll have the Citizens Liberal Party's ringing endorsement. So, how does it feel to have everything taken from you by a bunch of kids? Our candidate's victory in Kanagawa's District 2 is all but certain, so I've come up with a plan for taking out the trash in Ijincho. Of course, we'll probably lose half the population. Are you calling the people of Ijincho trash? I'm calling them disposable. Pardon me? What did you call them? People who fell through the cracks? 
can't you see that's their own fault for becoming so dependent on the Grey Zones? They're responsible for maintaining their home. And they fail. That's what makes them disposable. But I must be going. As I said, I've got a busy schedule. Happy retirement. My f I truly wish that for you. <sighs> I hope you'll visit Ijincho after its beautiful new developments are complete. You'll hardly recognize it. And I can't wait to see the look on your face when you... Oh, there's probably two to one, the dialogue in English. Mm, che peccato. So, is your hideout? Questo è il tizio del terzo clan. Go ahead, make yourself at home. I'd love to, but uh, where could I even do that? Yes. The square footage of this place leaves something to be desired. Well, excuse me. I'm hearing some pretty high standards for a couple of pad crashers. We're not crashing it. Nambasan gave us permission. <laughs> Who the hell says no to Jungi Han when he has to stay the night? I mean, it's freaking Jungi Han. Hey, where are the rest of your people now that Komi Jewel HQ is gone? They're fixing the surveillance system. It will take some time for it to be fully restored. Well, I get why Jun Gihan is staying here since his place is a pile of ashes. But what's Zhao's excuse? It's not like I could just keep living in Qing Chen after stepping down from the Liu Meng. Wouldn't have sent the right message. So, I've joined the ranks of the homeless. Still doesn't explain why you need to stay here. Maybe because information collects where people do. And this group does seem to be in the know. We do? But we don't even know what happened to Bleach Japan. Did the police ever put a stop to all that craziness? The police? Kasuga-kun, haven't you seen the news? No, I haven't had the time. Well, Bleach Japan's reputation in Ijin Show, hell all of Japan, is golden after the komi Joe thing. What? Oh yeah, you wouldn't believe the headlines. Despite peril, brave Bleach Japan topples Komijo Gang. Grassroots Org achieves what police never could. Shit like that. Wow, great journalism. No spin at all. That's not even the worst of it. The reports say that Komijo committed arson during its fight with Bleach Japan. And in the blaze, Bleach Japan director Ogasawara perished. He's dead? What happened? He was definitely alive after the fire. That's when we interrogated him. Yeah, then the Omi Alliance rescued him. Why would he be... <gasps> Wait, did they...? Yes, they probably killed him. I had that thought right away. At least he died the way he wanted to, as a hero of the revolution. <laughs> that guy? A hero? Why'd they kill him? Because he squawked like a bird when you interrogated him. Why wouldn't they off the guy? Now they're just milking his death for all it's worth. Honestly, it's a brilliant move, making it look like he died in the Comey Jewel fire. No crime reports, cops and doctors wouldn't bat an eye. And Bleach Japan gets a nice, tragic death to go on about. Ah, <sighs> damn. I wish we'd picked a fight with dumber enemies. But what can we do? Go to the police and explain how we abducted Ogasawara? What would be the point? Half the force is on Mabuchi's payroll. Uh, they would just book our asses. So out he is everyone marching along to his little tune. All in step. Young master. Okay, Bleach Japan's got us by the short hairs there. But what about the fact they were trespassing on Komijo property? Well, they must have figured the public would think the ends justified the means. And they were right. The public thinks Bleach Japan is the hero of this story. The police will never prosecute them for trespassing. At this rate, the Komijo and the Liu Mong are going to be extinct in Ijincho. 
And people like you who give us shelter will be an endangered species. I wish I didn't have to say this, but I suggest you make other living arrangements. I can't. I'm waiting for someone to contact me here. Who? Qualcuno sembra ci verrà contattato. Ah, il tizio. He's about to go all in with his next gamble. When that happens, he'll need strong allies. More than he's already got? I can't say anymore. I'm sorry. Me too. I'll be in touch. Hmm. Well then. But isn't Masumi Arakawa the man who shot you? The boss wasn't trying to kill me. He shot me so I could live. Sorry, but don't you think that's still kind of fucked up? It's a long story. Buy me a beer sometime and I'll tell you all about it. But right now, while we've got you on the team, we need to get shit done. We need to stock up on money and supplies because nobody knows what the hell will happen next. That's for sure. Curioso dizio si unisce. Zao. Potremmo incontrare... Uh, quindi i nemici sono più forti. Pare che ultimamente molti nemici lasciano dei sigilli. Mi sa che il clan Tocio si è scontrato con parecchie gente in città. Dai la caccia a quei tizi e procuri di... Perché okay, sigillo, ok? Zao. Quando sono mio, ok. Uh -huh. Andiamo i fiori. Sa anche la questa del capo. Del, del coso, no? Un secondo. Non ho capito che sta succedendo, perché a Mako si chiama? Ok, a Mako abita qua dietro. E qua ci sta il fatto della ragazzina. Well, the persimmon looks all right. I wonder how Kanako-chan is doing. I hope her surgery went okay. Kasuga-san. Huh? You're Kanako-chan's father. How's Kanako-chan doing? The surgery go all right? <sighs> huh? No, don't tell me. Uh, Kanako, come here. Oh, a ragazzina, vedi? Kanako-chan? Wait, she's all better now? She is. She used to always stare out the window with such a hopeless look in her eyes. But these days, that look's been replaced with a smile. Her surgery was a great success, and she's even up on her feet again. No way! That's great! She wanted to come say thank you. To me? Thank you, Kasuga-san. You protected the persimmon for me. Nah, no need to say thanks. No, I had a lot of fun watching you. Fighting a sumo wrestler, getting shot by a toy gun, comforting that witch boy, and all to protect the persimmon. I couldn't help but laugh. And it made me realize there's so much to see out there. Oh yeah? Guess it was all worth it then. There was also a part of me that wanted to skip the surgery just so I wouldn't miss out on the drama. 
<laughs> hey, hey, good thing you didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you happy. I should also thank this tree. I'm still here, thanks to this persimmon. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Well, what do you say we eat it? Huh? <laughs> you want to eat it? You don't need it anymore, right? Besides, look how good it looks. You've wanted to eat it this whole time, haven't you? You got me. <laughs> Hang on a sec. This is, I know. Oh, yeah. It's always specific drama. Ripe. You want dibs, Conical Chan? I'll have some after you. You should go first since you worked so hard to protect it. You sure? Okay, then. Here goes. <laughs> oh. Ugh. This is one of the bitter ones, huh? I thought so. You mean you knew? Come on, Conical Chan. <laughs> Il cacchio in bilico, perfetto, roba mia non è morta per, per lo meno. Il lottatore di sumo è diventato un nostro pest amico. Perfetto. Qua abbiamo messo le piantine. Uh, dobbiamo andare esattamente. Aspetta un secondo. Qua sotto. Um... Eh, ma qua ci sono un sacco di roba che dobbiamo fare ancora. Babbo, eh. Um, io. Yep. Uh -huh. Qua ci sta ancora quella che fa... No, non ci sta. Però c'è una valigetta, ho detto. Prima non c'era, sono sicuro. L'avevamo presa. Ma vuoi dire che è cambiata la mappa? Um, oh, aspetta un secondo Vediamo se qua dietro ci sta qualcosa mm, Che strano Qua c'è la C'era la Ichiban Confection Questi non li voglio affrontare um, Facciamo Ah no questi sono tosti Affrontiamoli invece L'unica cosa che però mi dispiace è che adesso che siamo venuti qua non ci siamo andati a... Um... Innanzitutto ci siamo senza soldi. Vado, sta dietro, è impossibile però quando combattono così questi. Guarda che mazza che teniamo. Questo non l'ho mai incontrato uno così. E questa altra gente. Mm -hmm. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Hamago-san, what's all this? Didn't I tell you? I'm decluttering. <laughs> I lugged all this out here by myself. Oh, I'm beat. I was hoping you big, strong men might do the rest. You buying new futons or something? Business must be good. This is got you Wait, there's no one here. Where are the girls? They all quit. What? I'm closing up shop. Huh? <laughs> Uh, 
Ma ci devi spiegare perché no? Eugene Show Revitalization Shelter. It's a facility in Hamakita Park. Bleach Japan set it up. Girls from the industry and their families can live there free of charge. For free? Damn. And all your girls went there? Sure did. Why wouldn't they? The facility is offering job training and legal help with visas. No better place for girls like them who don't have citizenship. And Bleach Japan is behind this whole operation? Yeah, they're being useful for once. They're gonna open more just like it, too. And they even offered to buy my place and turn it into a shelter. But then what are you going to do? This place is your bread and butter, isn't it? Oh, they thought of that. They gave me a job at the shelter. I'm gonna be the dorm mother. Oh, it's good pay. And perfect for a feisty old gal like me. Gotta say, I'm coming around on these do-gooders. Come on, Hamako-san. Don't you remember what they put you through? Sure, they were annoying. Bunch of kids tramping around, shouting shit they heard in prep school. But hey, now they're putting their money where their mouth is. It wasn't just a bunch of whining. They actually did something about it. And apparently the shelters were Ryo Aoki's idea. I have to say, it's pretty damn genius of him. Not to be a downer, but don't you think he's basically just buying votes? Once the election is over, I bet you he's gonna forget all about these shelters. Yeah, seriously. Politicians pull this shit all the time. You don't know him. You can't just assume he's like that. Besides, you got some better option for my girls? Any spare rooms you'll let them live in? I'll have you know, Aoki-san came all the way out to Ijincho today. Wait, he's in town? He's attending Ogasawara-san's funeral. See? That shows he's a good guy. The guy has got a million things on his plate, but still carves out time for a friend. You've got no business bad-mouthing him when you don't even know him. The young master. Here, in the Jean Show. You gonna go see him? Yeah. There's stuff I want to ask him about. Uh, me too. Like what his connection to Horonouchi is. You guys are nuts. Well, what's your plan? Stroll up and demand a meeting with the most powerful man in Tokyo? Oh, funerals are easy to sneak into. Everyone's too polite to ask questions. Why are you supporting this lunacy? Sorry, Hamako-san. But do you mind if I get rid of your trash some other day? What's wrong with now? <laughs> There's just this thing I gotta take care of. Fine. Just don't leave me hanging, okay? <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. So does anyone know where this funeral is? If it's any Jincho, it's gotta be at the morgue on Central. That's where Nonomiya's funeral was. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's roll on over there. Just put the quack to the palace of Kuno and Kodiedro. No, this one. Right, there's one here and there. You want to fight? No, I'm sorry. Baba. Ma 1600 di esperienza, secondo me non so tanti però eh. Ma andate da questa parte, c'era quello là. Non c'è più. C'era quello là che dovevamo assumere. Oh, aspetta, ma qua ci sta pure una porta però. Ah, questo vende le armi. Chiave della cassaforte d'oro. Oh. Quante ne dobbiamo comprare? Compriamo le 10, va.
guanti di ferro questo qui già ce l'avevamo questi vengono vende tutti oggetti che aumenta l'esperienza che aumentano l'esperienza mm. e ora dobbiamo fare un sacco di cose però e come dobbiamo fare teoricamente dovremmo andare qua però guardate quanta roba si è aperta, si è aperta questo, questo, poi c'eravamo questi due qua. Ce n'era un altro blu da qua, da qua. Poi dobbiamo andare qua e qua c'è una cassa, c'erano tre cassaforti che avevamo scoperto. Allora, per prima cosa dobbiamo andare a fare assolutamente um, un'assemblea degli azionisti. Siamo senza soldi. Oh no, no, fatemi prendere il taxi, dai. Uh, proviamo ad andarcene, vai. Mega colpo. Mm -hmm. Dovrebbero morire, no? No. Adesso sì, però. Ok. Uh, dove vogliamo andare? Vogliamo andare esattamente qua. Allora, vediamo un secondo. Prima cosa da fare è andare a aprire quella cassaforte. Dobbiamo piantare pure questa roba, ma non la facciamo. Dobbiamo vedere che ci sta in quella cassaforte d'oro. Ne abbiamo trovate circa tre, mi sa, di queste cose. Should I open it? Got it. Braccialetto schermamente. Mm. Poi dobbiamo andare da questo a prendere un po' di roba, ma... Ah, da questo. Da questo Ma non ci abbiamo soldi E ci serviva la legna? C'è un sacco di roba da questo Compriamo tutta la legna che superiore che possiamo comprare Questo ma non penso che ci basta E dobbiamo andare a fare assolutamente un'assemblea degli azionisti perché siamo rimasti senza soldi Ah qua stava un'altra cassaforte Solamente qua mm -hmm. Uh, possiamo passare utilizzando uh, no da qua no da qua oh, no. un secondo uh, nel bagno delle donne non ci fanno entrare Questo perché non ce lo fa prendere? Non ci deve il campo, lo so. Vediamo questo che fa. Colpione. Non ci interessa. Dobbiamo essere velocissimi a fare questa assemblea degli azionisti. Ma ah, questa cassaforte dove sta? Che non me la ricordo. Dentro la... Davanti all'ascensore. Sì. Should I open it? Sweet! Se chiedo di mastermind, chissà che serve. Adesso facciamo l'assemblea degli azionisti più veloce che abbiamo mai fatto. Speriamo che in secondo me dobbiamo fare due periodi. Vediamo, vediamo, vediamo. Il cuoco cinese. Uh -huh. Questo non so se è buono. Secondo me no. Ma quello perciò non c'è più il cuoco cinese perché l'avevamo 
Avevamo già assunto. Poi costa 9. Non lo so se è buono. Noi lo prendiamo. I dipendenti che devono recuperare non ci sono. Apriamo al pubblico dobbiamo fare okay, due piedi. Uh -huh. Una cosa che è peccato è che è arrivato a un certo punto, come potete vedere, facciamo talmente tanti di quei soldi che non sappiamo di che farcene. Vedete, cioè abbiamo un miliardo e quattrocento mila dollari. Eh, una volta che siamo arrivati prima, non serve a niente questa cosa qua, tranne per il fatto che ci dà 3 milioni ad assemblea degli azionisti. Cioè, se ne vanno 14 milioni di spese del personale, però ogni volta ne facciamo 200, 200 e spassa. Poi non so perché cerchiamo di assumere sempre sta gente disgraziata. Ok, dopo questo c'è l'assemblea degli azionisti, così facciamo questi 3 milioni che ci insacchiamo perché non dobbiamo più spendere assolutamente niente. Però li possiamo portare come denaro cash questi 3 milioni. Ok. Consider the shareholders. Sono anche quattro, quindi facciamo bello, veloce veloce. Rosso e rosso, quindi ci vuole blu. Oh, questa era resistente. Mm -hmm. Blu è blu, quindi ci vuole verde. Mm -hmm. Rosso quindi blu e verde. E infine questo facciamo caricare un poco. Ci vuole il rosso e lo, lo spezziamo proprio col rosso. Se ti fa pure la domanda, vai. Verde, rosso. Lo washottiamo? Lo washottiamo. Well, every meeting went great. Mm -hmm. Quanto ci dà? 3 milioni. Ah, ma eravamo rimasti con 793 yen. Perfetto. Abbiamo fatto. E questo qui adesso lo utilizziamo solamente come, come si dice. Deve, bisogna impiegare due minuti di tempo qui per fare sta roba, così possiamo prendere 3 milioni a botta. Um, ok, dove dobbiamo andare adesso? Ci sono diverse cose che possiamo fare. Uh, siamo qui. Abbiamo in... Incominciamo ad andare a parlare con quello là. Se vi ricordate, questo è quello lì del, um, del ristorante. Facciamo un minimo di caccia al tesoro. Perché non c'è da più la caccia al tesoro qua? Posso rispondere? Ci mette un po' di tempo. Vediamo questo che dice. <ride> Mm -hmm. 
questo è il papà e il figlio che se ne va a lavorare in un altro ristorante. Hold on. Non che dobbiamo picchiare il padre. No, non credo. Madre! Yo! Chissà se lo dobbiamo portare noi al ristorante o ci parti direttamente il gioco. Parti direttamente il gioco. Mm. Oh. Se mi ma sende sta. Hai. E non ci ha visti. Ci ha visti. Ma li dobbiamo picchiare forse Ci parliamo noi Aiuto, non ti preoccupare Madre! Ma dai, i cuochi, questi saranno pure bassi, sicuro. Questi li one shot. Ah oh, no. Oh. Quasi. Hey. Mm. <ride> ah, ragazzi, adesso che abbiamo tutti quei soldi, possiamo andare a vedere anche Thanks for everything, Kasuga-san. Don't mention it. No, I've relied on you for everything. This is the least I can do. Please, take it. Which one? Pinze di corte. Looks like he's started thinking more like an adult. And here I thought he was still a boy. I wanted him to hurry up and be independent. But maybe I was the one depending on him. I'm back. Oh, uh, Kasuga-san. Hello. Hey. Welcome back. Uh, what now, Dad? Another lecture? Yuta, can you make some fried rice? I'm uh, getting a little hungry. Huh? Just make it yourself. Come on, Yuta, make some. For me, too. Huh? Uh, oh, all right. Thanks for waiting. Two orders of fried rice. Hey, looks pretty damn tasty. We'll uh, see about that. Here goes. Hmm. Here we go. 
I was right. No way an amateur made this stuff. I think maybe you got better, huh, Yuta? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how was it? You're definitely improving, but it's still not quite there. Damn it. This fried rice. It's a little too salty. Dad? So much for honesty. <laughs> Abbiamo finito un'altra stagione secondaria. Um, qua c'è il, casi il casino. E, e qua c'era il tizio. Andiamo un attimo qua. Adesso possiamo comprare la roba che tiene. Non li voglio affrontare questi. Vediamo, vediamo. No, oh, questo è di livello 45. Ok, questo dobbiamo stare un attimo attenti. Questi ci fanno neri. Ehm. Um... Abbiamo ucciso uno solo. Eh, dobbiamo curare, dobbiamo curare. Proviamo a fare questo con voltaggio 1. Non è stata una buona idea. Oh, ma avete visto quanta... quanta vita ci tolgono? Eh, però ci danno un sacco di esperienza. Finalmente. Solo che Eri sta senza mana praticamente. Allora, qui dobbiamo solamente andare da questo e comprare questa qui. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thanks. E poi la matita di Vin. For real? Yeah. Thanks. Mm. Di qualcosa altro. Tutto bene, purtroppo pensavo che questo qua. Hi there. 
Uh, si unisce alla nostra alla Ichibald Holdings, ma invece no. E questo qua invece non vuole parlare fino a quando non diventiamo cervelloni. E ci deve... non, eh, non ci sono più esami che possiamo fare, vedete? Li abbiamo presi tutti. Quindi questo posto qui per adesso, fino a quando non arriviamo... Non portiamo l'arguzzi al massimo, no? è inutile che ci veniamo più. Mo. Questo qui non mi ricordo che roba è, quindi andiamo a vedere. Hey, Forse è speciale. Hey, you're going to a vocational school? Yeah. I can't say I ever saw myself doing it at this age, but it feels pretty good when you pass a test. Huh. Think there'd be something for me there? I'm not certified in anything. How about a chef's license? You're pretty good at cooking. Hmm. I probably want something a little more fitting. Are there any certifications for uh, assassination or shit like that? I'd like to take that test as well. Perhaps I could start at level two, however. You guys, are you freaking serious right now? Okay, no, huh? Ah, queste sono due piantine che abbiamo messo l'altro alto, ma non le, mette, non le prendiamo adesso. Manco queste. Evitiamo. Uh -huh. Ah, questa è la, la ragazzina che faceva le donazioni. Carisma. Sorry. picchiare ma dai ah no ci danno i soldi alla ragazzina secondo me dopo se li ruba perché la questa non è nemmeno finita ok mo dobbiamo vedere come fare questi qui um, e tra l'altro non dovrebbe essere nemmeno tanto difficile penso Così, 34 sono abbastanza debole. Ah, poi avevamo detto che dovevamo... Ci serviva un aggiornamento per la chitarra di Namba. Ecco che cosa ci... Gli obbligli ad Aci. Eh, ma è un problema perché... Se incontriamo quello, finisce la... La sequenza qua. E non aumenta il legame. Ah, questo 
Adachi-san, don't let this idiot get to you. Keep taking care of your garden. Speaking of, what's your hobby? Oh, sono miracoli a dem. La roba della terra. Ok, aumentati il legame, possiamo andare. Um, oh, qua c'è un coso del, del clan Tolcio sicuramente. Un sigillo. Mm -hmm. Questo qui. Sumi. Meglio vedere una cosa con i propri occhi piuttosto che sentirne parlare cento volte. Super raro, ma uno ultra raro quando ci è, quando ci arriva. E poi siamo venuti qua perché volevamo. Dobbiamo andare lì a... dentro il vicolo. Vedete? Poi c'è pure la ricetta. Uh -huh. Ora questo quando è doppio. Questo sarà pure un prestamico. This could get rough. E se sei un best amico, questi qua saranno debolissimi. Infatti. Questo è tosto però, eh. Proviamo questo, struttura oscura. Oh uh, no, do dopo prima ma dobbiamo provare il colpo pesante di questa. 7 e 23, non c'è male, dai. Mazzata bellicosa. Uh -huh. Con l'altro ancora vivo. Uh, passo memorabile. <ride> non ci abbiamo abbastanza mano. Mazzata bellicosa. Ah, penso che questo lo possiamo fare anche senza tecniche adesso. Questo è tosto, c'è cioè un sacco di difesa o qualcosa del genere, perché... Guardate. Alzate belle cose, cerchiamo di fare un po'. C'è un sacco di difesa. Ok, abbiamo pure stionata. Questo qua facciamo canzone magica e poi dopo lo picchiamo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. È ancora vivo. Mamma mia, quanto era tosto questo.
No, non ci ha dato niente. With finesse. Trentamila dollari. Uh, qui c'è un sigillo del frantoggio sicuramente. E poi volevo fare anche un'altra cosa. Uh, qui è sempre quello del ristorante. Ah, ecco che cosa devo fare. Um, perché sostanzialmente se andiamo su Gess... Smart smartphone e andiamo su questo elenco potenzialmente di armi potevamo um, potenziare sono sicuro la chitarra di Namba e ci abbiamo tutti quanti sì dobbiamo potenziare la, la chitarra di Namba quindi ci serve un taxi Penso che è la cosa più importante da fare al momento. Eccolo qua. Vediamo mm? la caccia al tesoro. Mm? Allora. Ok, però laboratorio romance. migliora arma e poi ci sta aspetta facciamo miglioriamo questa innanzitutto pretty good e poi um... e poi ci stava anche l'armatura che c'era un'armatura che potevamo fare a parte questo cyber casco qua che era... era questo forse potevamo fare con qualsiasi cosa questi costano 2 milioni ma scusa, la vettorina quanto costa? 30.000 euro, però è uno schifo. E il cyber casco costa 2 milioni. Quindi cominciano a diventare costose le cose. Cyber armatura 1 milione, però con l'alluminio lucente non riusciamo a fare. Guardate quanta armatura... Ok, ci servono serve un sacco di soldi e ci serve un sacco di eh. questo è quello che sta più inguaiato lo dovremmo mettere a posto probabilmente mm -hmm. Ok, andiamo a fare un attimo questo. E poi andiamo avanti nella storia principale, credo. Um, ho sbagliato. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I got this. 
Ma Namba dovrebbe fare parecchio più male adesso. Mm -hmm. E poi più è alto il legame e più gli altri dovrebbero aiutare. Infatti Namba fa molto più male. E forse sono questi che sono più ciucci. Meglio così perché tu stavi senza mana. Andiamo nel parcheggio. Mm -hmm. Ragazzi voglio chiamare un um, oggetti Un pest amico come si fa? No tecniche non è Non è difesa Altro Forse non lo possiamo chiamare il pesto amico adesso. Questo dovrebbe morire sicuramente. E anche questo è andato. Poi. Uh, prendiamo questo taxi qua e andiamo qua sopra. Così facciamo questo. Prendiamo la vita e poi andiamo qua. Uh -huh. Ok. Ehm... Um, sì. Era, era qua. Sono quasi sicuro. Mm -hmm. Guardate questa costruzione come strana. E eh, questo non è uscito sto pseudo barbone di livello 11 pietra irregolare niente mm -hmm. Questo dobbiamo portare la carta igienica. Eroe part time, aspettate un secondo, vediamo un attimo. Uh, soccorso. No. Supporto. Dobbiamo portare 5 falzoletti di carta. Però scusami, supporto un soccorso qual è questo qua che sta qua vicino? I sobe e ambi. 
sta qua fuori, non ci andiamo. Continuiamo il nostro piano di conquista. Dobbiamo andare a prendere le cose dei barboni. Ci portiamo tutti. Uh, cerchiamo di scappare, vediamo. Ok. Mamma mia. E poi andiamo dove sta la missione principale. Minimo di caccia al tesoro. Uh -huh. Qui è dove è morto il tizio. Ogasawara Kun. I remember the day we met like it was yesterday. Nice. There's still time. Hey, let us through. We're here to pay our respects. Hey, are you with Bleach Japan? No, but we knew Ogasawara. Not good enough. The ceremony's just for family and Bleach Japan members. Well, maybe they'll let us light some incense. <laughs> they aren't even allowing journalists like me in. This monitor is all we get. Today, we celebrate Ogasawara-kun's memory. We do so here in Ijinjo, the city of his heart and soul. You, more than anyone, yearn to see this city reborn. It was only six months ago that you came here with your family. And I remember how eager you were to change this town for the better. It became your passion in life. But one cannot truly care about a city until they become one of its people, which is why I was so moved when you chose to reside in Ijincho. There is no greater tragedy than the dreams we leave behind in death, and yours were bigger than most ever dared. I know this as your classmate in our youth, as your peer who shared your ambitions. But most of all, simply as a friend, you left too soon. This is truly, truly a great loss. And so, what choice do we have but to face the future without you? We look to Kumekun, the protege to whom you entrusted so much. He has stepped forward to carry on your dream. And is there any greater honor than when, in our passing, someone else picks up the torch where we left it? You and I always believed we could help people find their way together. Which is why, in the coming election, I will throw the entirety of my support behind Kume. Questo è il tizio con il capo di dei protestanti. Son, we will continue your work for you. Just listen to this governor. He really cares. He's in more grief than anyone here, and he still gave a speech. Strong man given a strong eulogy. If Aoki really did order Ogasawara's death, well, then he's quite the actor. Bastard's grooming Kume for political office. What the hell is his plan? Hey, there he is. Cosa si ricorda di noi? Let's move. How many seats is the Citizens Liberal Party targeting this cycle? Any comment? Alkisan, should we take your statement today as a campaign launch announcement? Any comment at all? Just a soundbite, Alkisan. Clear the way. 
What's your motive for holding a new election? Hey, don't push. I said don't push! All right, folks, let him through. Let him through! Alki. Hey, Governor Alki. That's ah, no good. Can't even get close. Let's head him off. How? It's not like the governor took a train here. He's got to have a car nearby. Sure, but how are you going to find it? Check every parking spot in the neighborhood? You know, I once read in some tabloid that celebrities park underground to avoid the paparazzi. Aoki probably uses the same strategy, don't you think? Yeah, that's a thought. Any underground lots around here? Yeah, there's a big one. Its entrance is by the river. Great! Let's check it out. Ma dove dobbiamo andare? Nelle fogne? Questo è molto strano, ragazzi, perché là ci sta il dungeon. È strano che in questa stradina non ci sono truppe rosse. Eh? E poi qui, perché ci sta... Ci stanno i passanti. Oh. Oh. Aspetta, forse riusciamo, riusciamo a andarcene. Non so che c'è scritto. Damn. Ah, forse che è chiuso. edificio con un bar vicino al fiume dopo tanto ce lo dice la mappa dove sta affrontare non li voglio affrontare li dobbiamo affrontare per forza Quante dobbiamo affrontare? Questi però sono di livello 26, forse ci li fa passare. Okay. Uh, forse se passiamo per dietro. Ah, sarà questo l'ascensore, no? Dobbiamo pure andare, forse sta qua. Dobbiamo anche andare vicino a dove stavano quei ristoranti, che c'era quella, quella stanza chiusa che vi avevo detto. Sto pure questo. Ok.
Questo è un posto che ci possiamo venire solamente per entrare durante questa missione. Copy that. We'll be ready to move out right away. Start the car. The governor's on route. Bingo. You were right on the money, Sachan. Andiamo solo noi. Let's do this. Stop! Identify yourselves! What are you doing here? Chill out, fellas. We just want to talk to the governor. Not a chance! Get back! Code Red, we got trespassers! Mr. Governor, this way! Trespassers? Don't make assumptions, pal. Then who are you? Are you media? We're fans of the governor. We just want to shake his hand, okay? Not right now. Please? Come on. You can't. We'll just take a second. The governor ain't got time. Take a walk, Jack. Oh, I'm missing my head, so you should ban, eh? Jack? <laughs> you from Kansai? You got a problem with that? Well, it means you're Omi. I don't hear you denying it. A governor employing Yakuza as his bodyguards. Unreal. Shut up! I'm a civilian working security. Speaking Kansai don't automatically make someone owe me. You damn smart ass. Oh, you're angry I assume something? You assumed we were trespassers. Because that's what you are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just calm down now. Why don't you do yourself a favor and step aside? If not, we'll have to... Freeze! Oh, easy. That's quite the weapon you got there. I was only gonna ask for a light, man. <laughs> Why's a local security guard packing something like that, anyway? <sighs> Asshole. I'm about to shoot you just because you're annoying. <laughs> With the safety on? Huh? <laughs> Io noi non combattiamo. Oh sì. You think I'm playing you dried up sack? They want to fight. Let's combattiamo. Ma questi sono proprio ciucci. Nel senso che sono molto deboli. Noi siamo molto più forti, credo. Vediamo la mossa speciale di questa. Vabbè, questo qua è morto. Wait! 
You okay? Ma ci ha sicuramente riconosciuto. What have you done? Mr. Governor, can you tell the difference between thugs and law-abiding citizens? What's wrong with you? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We are terribly sorry about this. Do you need medical attention? I never thought I'd see the day when my own guards hurt a citizen. I'm just glad I saw the scuffle in the rearview mirror. Please, let me help you up. Sir. Tonight, go to Orohime Land alone. I'll do the same. It's such a relief that none of you were hurt. Please accept my sincere apologies for all of this. I'd also like to apologize on behalf of my guards. I'll be giving them a strict lecture later. But for now, I must ask that you excuse me. I'm late for an appointment. Listen. Yeah. Mm. È una trappola sicuramente, però non lo so perché... <ride> La cosa più naturale che dovrebbe succedere probabilmente è che viene pure il padre. Però non sono... Hey. Non lo so. Perché a un certo punto dopo che ci ha dato la mano ci ha, ci ha spostato malamente. No. Hold on. Uh. Yo. Okay. Aggiungi il tuo email end. Ragazzi, facciamo solamente... No, 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 no. Ma dove dobbiamo andare? Dobbiamo andare esattamente dove stanno loro. Il vicolo, il vicolo. No, non c'è il vicolo qua. Siamo circondati. Che scocciamento. Mo usiamo uh, il gigacolpo su questo eh. gli altri stanno lontano questo fa troppo poco danno Picchiatelo così si impara Che non è morto nemmeno su uno è eh. um, Dobbiamo andare assolutamente qua un momento Perché Volevo controllare innanzitutto dobbiamo Oh guardate Sono cambiati i posti Però da nessuna parte c'è il fatto del legame. Mm -hmm. È il regolo della casa. Why don't we all play some cards sometime? Where is this coming from? The bartender said we could use one of the rooms here. I figured it'd be fun to laze around and play a game or something. Well, the second floor is a lot more uh, homey than that fancy first floor, so. 
So what do we play? Sevens? No way. It's gotta be president. It's more exciting with more people. Oh, that sounds fun. I was playing that every night with the boys back at the camp, so <laughs> I'm pretty good. I used to play it with my buddies on the force. Think I'm gonna let you guys win? I was the best player in the comedrol. <laughs> so, can we cut the eight? What about the eleven back? Seven handoff? What do you mean by seven handoff? What about stairs? Man, they're getting pretty worked up about this. You know, all these local house rules are just a pain in the butt. Let's just play old maid. Ancora la cosa di vado al massimo, recupera. Eh, non ho capito, ma al secondo piano qua non ci sta il secondo piano in questa casa. Forse è semplicemente un dialogo così. Um Dobbiamo uscire. Aspetta. Mm -hmm. E caro che non lo facciamo. Allora, vediamo dove dobbiamo andare. Uh, prendiamo, prendiamo un taxi fino a qua. Facciamo un attimo questa attività qui. Mm -hmm. Qua stava la stanza. Stava esattamente qua. Aspetta, aspetta, aspetta. Allora facciamo così. Prendiamo il taxi. Mm -hmm. E dobbiamo andare esattamente qua. Poi, uh, vediamo la mappa. Dobbiamo andare, secondo me sta qua. Però qui ci sta pure un'altra, forse la ragazzina che si è messa qui. Verità due. Something out of one of those kung fu movies I watched as a kid. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I love kung fu movies. They come up with the craziest martial arts moves. I've always liked snake style. Oh, that stance is so cool. No, no, no. Gotta be Shaolin kung fu for me. You know any martial arts, Xiao? I know a little drunk and fist. Yo, that's where you fight drunk, right? You gotta show us. Sure. But I'm gonna need you to buy me some beer first and some snacks too. A little cheese and edamame sound great right now. Hey, you just trying to get free food and drinks? You have to ask? È arrivato al massimo delle gambe, vediamo che ci sta qua. Questi qui sono i tizi che chiedevano l'elemosina insieme alla ragazza, che però si rubavano i soldi che gli donavano, sicuro. Go. Sia solo. Ci vuole attaccare? Questo era pure di livello basso secondo me. Ancora non è finita Però adesso dobbiamo fare un attimo questa cosa qui Era qua Era qua um, Qua Qua 
Por que a Giovanna usa esse corno? Ma dai, questi sono di livello 50, come la mettiamo nome? Non li possiamo dare. Vediamo quanto ci facciamo con una mazzata disintegrante, però a questo. Ma con tutti i debuff. Oh, ma manca è morto quell'altro. Ok, questo qua dovrebbe morire per i fatti suoi. Oh, questi erano di livello 50. Che mi ricordo... No, mi ricordo bene. Guarda, eccolo qua. Qua c'è un altro vendor. Granate incendiaria, lampada a stelo. E che fanno queste cose? completamente inutile sto coso vabbè no aspetta vendeva le vendeva le armi eh. aspetta che è quello cerchiamo pure a questo ma questi pure sono di livello 50 boh. Questo non è tanto buono questo ritmo che deve tanto. Oh, ci dobbiamo curare. Um, deve avere paura. Uh. Mm. 
this. I'll show you. You're you the stop. Okay. Questo qua deve curare tutti quanti. Vai. Oh, non ci hanno manco fatto. Cioè, non c'è nemmeno curato tutti quanti. Ici, bang. Picchiatelo. Ok, siamo venuti qua perché ci stava il tizio che voleva... Assumiamo. C'è solo raro. Ma va, va. Uh, uh, andiamoci, andiamoci, poi ci torniamo un'altra volta, anche perché non siamo pronti per questo livello di difficoltà, credo. Uh -huh. Dobbiamo andare... Uh, dove dobbiamo andare? Dobbiamo andare qua sotto. Sì, dobbiamo andare esattamente qua. Uh -huh. no, questo non ci ferma, però questo qui è uno solo. Tipicamente quando è uno solo bisognerebbe affrontarlo. Sì, perché non stiamo menando? Ragazzi, qua stiamo mettendo male. Ci fanno un sacco di danno. No, niente spoiler. Never thought the notebook would be the key to Hey 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 watch it. Eh? Huh? I'm gonna watch that later. Don't spoil it for me. Not one for spoilers, huh, Dachi-san? Of course not. I want the purest experience possible. And don't get me started on those ads that say you won't believe the big twist or whatever. I can't stand that kind of crap. Why is that? Think about it. The twist will be boring if you know it's coming. If I know about it, all I do is brace for it. E poi non sarò in modo che era intenzionato. Wow, tu davvero sei un purista, Adachi-san. Sì, beh, dico che ti vai a un giorno di aprile. Ok ragazzi, guardate, adesso c'è una valigetta lì. C'è questo che cerca il lavoro e là c'è il coso Tojo. Quindi... Uh -huh. Assumiamolo, vediamo che roba è. Super raro. Ok, la valigetta non è scomparsa. Prendiamo la valigetta, piatto d'oro. Uh -huh. Vediamo se che cosa è il. Ok. E nemmeno il, il, il giro del, del clan Tojo è scomparso. Uh, oh, un altro sigillo. Non mi ricordo. Questo lo dobbiamo andare a rivedere. Questo chi lo chi è? Time you moved on to something more appropriate for your age? I I really don't know what you're suggesting, Shio chan <gasps> Why are they ganging up on that dominatrix lady? 50 sfumature di gioco. Don't you think you're past your prime? Look, nobody wants you around. 
So listen to the number one girl and leave. But I, I do still have clients who request me. So for their sake, I can't just... Yeah, yeah, we know you're totally lying. The rep of this place has been dropping lower than that sagging ass of yours. <laughs> My advice? Find a cushy day job and let the next generation run the show. Got it, granny panties? <laughs> <laughs> but really, don't you think it's time to put down the whip? I mean, you could break a hip in those heels. No! I take pride in what I do. I've always done my best to help my clients leave happy, even if there aren't many- I wasn't asking for your opinion. I'm saying you're nothing but an eyesore. Understand? Well, in case you were so What's with that look? You want me to slap it off your face? Be chiamo le ragazze. All right, ladies, that's enough. Huh? I know it's none of my business, but you're taking this way too far. Huh. Oh, and frankly speaking, I think you're the ones bringing your club down, not her. Uh, what? Ew, what is with him? He one of yours, Yumiko-san? Only a loser would eavesdrop. This loser's only here because he heard you stirring up trouble. Half the town could, really. I was just passing by. Then why don't you mind your own business? We don't have to listen to some random nobody. Forget it, girls. Let's just go. Hold on, Shiho. We're not finished with her. Yeah? Well, I am. Besides, I got an even better idea. Watch your back out there, Grams. This don't finish here, but this here is all right to be a story divertente. Right there? I am. Thank you. Yes, there's always haters, no matter where you go. Sometimes life's a harsh mistress. Perfetto. Andiamo avanti. Eh, saranno sicuramente qui. Scusa un secondo, ma qua che ci sta? Ho un di difesa. Ma forse bisogna incominciare... A utilizzare pure un po' di, di buff Hey Hey Listen Vediamo che succede Questi ci minano. È sicuramente una trappola. Però non so perché. Young master. You were born in a dump much like this one, weren't you? It's been a while, young master. I figured you'd want to see me. I know what you want to ask. Why did I change my name? Why am I a politician? Why did I help destroy the Tojo clan? And are you curious about my lack of a wheelchair these days? You actually willing to explain any of it? I am. My condition was cured in America. I got a lung transplant. Did you know that if you drop a stack of cash into the right palm over there, you can buy an organ? Incredible. But even with deep pockets, Nothing is simple for the son of a Yakuza boss. That why you changed your name? Yes. I did it because I was born the son of Masumi Arakawa. And because my condition robbed me of the youth everyone else got to have. I was happy to change my name and start a new life separate from all of that. 
and look at the results. I'm not only the governor, but also the chair of the ruling party. <sighs> What's wrong? You can't bring yourself to congratulate me? Not from the heart, no. Are you even happy as a politician? Politics is a good life. Unlike the Yakuza, you don't have to use violence to assert control. I can improve people's lives, and they're grateful to me for it. You think Ogasawara is grateful? You killed him. <laughs> oh, that... That was just a sensible precaution. Man, listen to yourself. <laughs> Come on. After you kidnapped him, he ran his mouth about Bleach Japan, did he not? He was never much for discretion. He swore to me that he didn't tell you anything, of course. But I could see the truth in his eyes. That sealed his fate. So, you just kill people over an assumption? Without even bothering to check? I'm checking now. Did he tell you the secrets of Bleach Japan or not? Well, that's... I mean... See? Proper risk management is all about mitigating threats before they- But he was your buddy! He helped you start Bleach Japan! Being at the top means you have to know when people are no longer... relevant. Like father, like son, right? My father looked after you for years. But when he had to, he cut you from the family. That's not how it went down! He asked me to go to prison to keep the whole Arakawa family safe! <laughs> you think that's why? Captain Sawashiro killed some guy who reported directly to the Tojo clan. If we had let Sawashiro get arrested, the Arakawa family would have had to own up to it, since they were lower on the ladder. <laughs> oh, Kasuga. Whether you went to prison or not, Sawashiro wasn't going to be arrested. You don't know that. Oh, but I do. Because Sawashiro didn't kill that guy in the first place. What? As I recall, that night was the last time I saw you. Yeah, that club in Kamurocho we went to, on New Year's Eve. Yeah, it was your girlfriend's birthday. Right. I've certainly had better nights. What? Young master, how long have you been there? What are they should burn? Um, young master? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Get up! 
can't sleep here, you fucking drunk. Come on, move your ass. Uh, fuck off, man. This building's my family's property. So clear out. Go on, go! <sighs> Yakuza. <laughs> that means you're garbage. <laughs> the fuck you say? <laughs> Don't touch me! You're a power on your turf now, fool! In this town... Let me go! Fear the Yakuza! I don't know what backwoods village you might be from, but you're about to learn about Kamurocho the hard way, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> you think you're hot shit because you know how to hold a gun? Where'd you buy that thing, huh? Your local toy shop? Huh? You want me to pull the trigger, you son of a bitch? Do it if it's even a real gun. Go on. Do it! <laughs> Come on! Fucking do it if you've got the balls. Can't do it, huh? That what the girls say about you too? <laughs> Little bitch like you ought to know better. Now you're dead. <laughs> Dumbass. Ocurre de me morir porque es muerto en cola cera. Zero. I, I fucked up. I killed the guy. You're the one who killed Suzumori? Yes. I told Sawashiro what I did, then went home. Lucky for me, there were no witnesses. So I didn't go in Sawashiro's place. I went in your place. <laughs> That's right. Dad sold you to the law to protect his only son. <sighs> Obviously, he couldn't just tell you how it really happened. That's why he lied that you were taking the fall for Sawashiro. You swallowed the bait whole, and happily marched yourself to the station. So tell me, do you still trust the old asshole? <clears throat> I can only imagine how you must feel. Doing 18 years of hard time would have been bad enough. But then there was the other event. After giving him such a huge portion of your life, you finally see him and... Bang, right? <laughs> Must feel horrible even now. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Non dice la scelta tua in inglese, dice il conto su di te. Well, say something, Ichi. It doesn't matter what you say. I trust Arakawa-san. La mia traduzione in linea è completamente sbagliata. <laughs> then answer one question for me. Why are you in Ichincho? Couldn't tell you. Maybe because I'm Ichi Bad Kasuga. The guy who hits rock bottom but always crawls back up. I see. Even after all these years, somehow you've managed to stay just as dumb. It's kind of touching. Nostalgic even. I can't even bring myself to be mad. What an honor. 
You know, I thought this meeting was gonna be a setup. But you came alone, like you promised. So I guess I'm touched too. What? You thought I'd have you killed? No. There's no sense in squishing an ant. I'll let you live. We do go way back, after all. But I do have one condition. Don't ever come near me or Dad again. Understand? Well, I've got my own condition. Pull out of Yijin Show and get Kume to end his campaign. <laughs> Pardon? I may not be cut out for politics, but Kume sure as hell ain't either. Actually, the Citizens' Liberal Party agrees with you. Kume is ignorant and inexperienced. If he didn't have our support, he'd lose for sure. Then why are you having him run? <laughs> so everyone can see my value. Uh, what? Think about it. If Kume wins, how will the Citizens' Liberal Party react? They'd realize that an endorsement from Rio Aoki can turn entire elections, even in favor of a simpleton. It will be crystal clear that I have the skill and influence to replace Ogi Kubo. They'll watch and learn. So, Kume's just a tool to you. An election is nothing more than a game of strategy. Are these Ijinjo revitalization shelters part of your game too? Oh, those. Those are the most useful tools of all. With them, I can round up all the illegal residents at once. Wait, what? I thought the shelters were helping people get visas. <laughs> Don't be absurd. The people going to them would never qualify for visas. The shelters will bust them to the Immigration Bureau, where they'll be deported. For real? You're lying to them right to their faces? I'm not lying. The shelter's purpose is there in its name. It's revitalizing Yijincho by cleansing it of criminals. Just give me an answer. Are you going to accept my conditions or not? Absolutely not. Well, then I guess there's no chance of us finding common ground. Did you actually think I'd come here tonight because I wanted to negotiate? Remember what I said earlier. The only reason you're still alive is because I took pity on you. If I stop pitying you, you don't have much left. What the hell is this? È una trappola. I thought the young master said he would come alone. That makes you a fool for believing him when he said it. And for rejecting his offer. I guess I'm kind of old-fashioned that way. I tend to take people at their word. Alone means alone. This way, Ichiban! Go! Hey! Guys, why are you here? Just get out of the damn way! The infield missed a few grounders. Time to call up the reserves. Let's give Captain Sawashiro a show. Break through him! Right. Beat him down! 
A Lance Home. I got this. You're gonna get Maybe I got this. You wanna fight? I have secrets No, perché ci sta questa canzone strana che forse c'ha quasi sicuramente il copyright? Ah, c'è messo a dormire. Ah, uh, no, facciamo un colpo normale. a tutti quanti Ancora. Questo era l'ex capo di Ichiban, quello che ci voleva tagliare il dito. Isn't this all a little much just to take me out? Come on. Maybe it is. But then again, you did survive being shot, so taking precautions makes sense. So this here's the guy who took a bullet from the cap. Thought you'd have some meat on you, but you're kind of scrawny, ain't ya? <laughs> Don't get cocky. Make sure he dies here. In that case, how about we draw and quarter him? What a little kickle tell you, he pulls out of that one, eh? <laughs> Do what you must. <laughs> Ever seen a tuna carving? Get ready for the human version. When I'm done, I'll put his head in a box and ship it to you tomorrow. Just do it right. You leaving? Scared? No. I just don't want any of your blood on my suit. So you're still the type to leave all the dirty work to your peons. Guess after all these years, you didn't learn shit from Arakawa-san. You never shut up about the boss. I've always hated that. Let him say what he wants, boss. <laughs> Poor little shit only has a couple of minutes to live. No, that's enough talk. Kill him already. <laughs> Let's start the dissection! Yeah, I'm ready. Right. You're in it now. Yeah. You're gonna be in a war. Fight you to me, Dobbiamo togliere la difesa a tutti quanti. Sure 
I'm not that I got this. Nine yet. Fun with this. I feel the pain of my god so Get your I'm already Hope you're ready. You're gonna get giant secret. I got this. Um, my good culpa. I'm sure you can beat me. Go with the other one. Hope you're ready. Get serious. Dopo c'è il boss, però già lo vedo. Allora dobbiamo curare perché dopo mi sa che ci attaccano con gli altri. Ma che è i rinforzi? Questa qua può attaccare. Però i rinforzi sono più deboli naturalmente. Vabbè. Cool. Nostro rinforzo. Mm -hmm. Oh, con tutto che gli abbiamo abbassato la difesa. qui possiamo attaccare perché c'è mano infinita E muori, mamma mia. Vabbè. Mega colpo a questo qua. Dove prende anche con l'altro, spero. Ok. 
get serious. Mm -hmm. I got this. Uh. Hmm. Huh? Ha abbassato pure la difesa quest'altro. Eh, aumentiamo pure la nostra difesa stavolta. Um, aumentiamo pure. Non puoi usare altre tecniche. No, dovremmo, dovrebbe essere sufficiente. Passo memorabile. Uh -huh. You sure you want to get hurt? Have fun with this. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Leave it to me. Fight. Here goes. And pick it time. Come on now. Try and stop. You sure you can beat me? Get this out. No, ma Namba ce l'aveva una cosa. Questo può usare solamente gru volante. Mazzata uh, bellicosa. Ok, questo qua dobbiamo per forza far guarire a tutti quanti. Gru volante. Dobbiamo far abbassare la difesa a tutti i testo. Oh, questo non può fare niente. Ci prende il dinamonato, giusto? Namba non muore, dai. Credo. Questa volta però Namba muore. E questo Matoba dovrebbe morire pure lui però. Mm -hmm. oh, abbiamo fatto pure un po' di esperienza, dai. Nice. Mm -hmm. Questo che ci voleva affettare come un tonno. I'm sure he'll be surprised to see your head in there then. <laughs> that guy was really gross.
Are all Omi Alliance dudes like that? They're the biggest Yakuza group in the country. I'm sure they have even crazier guys. And that's what's flooding into Ijincho? Great! Ichiban! Ma questa è la tizia che muovono sai, cioè, vengono tutte deportate le sue impiegate. The shelter? I was taking something to one of the girls. She forgot it at my place. But, but they were all gone. None of the staff would tell me where they went. I don't know what's going on. Calm down, Hamako-san. Please, help me find them. Hey, I'm really, really sorry. But they aren't in Japan anymore. What? The shelter was just a trap for mass deportations. No! Those girls, they don't have anyone to help them in the countries they came from. That's why they came to a Jincho in the first place. I just wanna... I just wanted to give them a chance. How did this happen? Oh no! No, 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 no. Hamako-san. If only I hadn't told them to go to the shelter. If only I'd realized sooner. It's not your fault. You did what you thought was best for them. He's right. Don't blame yourself. You were on their side until the end. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> God damn it. I told Hamako-san to get some rest. Thanks, Sachan. Ijin Cho just keeps taking hit after hit. Remember what Jungi Han said? That we should basically get out of here while we can? Maybe we should consider that. For real. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh boy, we can't escape, certainly. The situation is kind of hopeless at this point. Hopeless, huh? Well, you got a place we can all go? Oh, not off the top of my head, no. How about you, Adachi-san? Nope. I don't even have family to stay with. My parents died a long time ago. Psycho? I mean, I could leave, but I would never abandon my sister or my father like that. Sounds like we've settled that, then. Settled what? That none of us can run away from this. We're in the same boat as the Komi Jewel and the Liuma. So our only option is to fight, with or without hope. And personally, I say there is hope. How? How is there a chance of winning? It doesn't matter. A long time ago, Arakawa-san told me something. If you go into a fight thinking you got a chance to win, you're just being a bully. Uh, what the hell? I'm not gonna lie, that sounds kinda stupid. Hell no. A real fight's when you go up against someone so strong, you got no chance. Our enemies are the Omi Alliance and the Citizens Liberal Party. The crime lords from below are teaming up with the law from above. And I say bring it on. We're going up against all of Japan, basically. Too much for you, Adachi-san? Going soft on me? <laughs> Don't be stupid. I couldn't ask for a better fight. Let's do it. But can we include Tokyo PD in that law part so I can kick their asses too? Hell yeah! Put them on the list! Good enough for me! You guys are ridiculous. You know that, right? <laughs> Tell me about it. But... Admit it, you like that about us. Yeah... What is my damage? Nanba! Sachan! Join us, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can skip the pep talk. <laughs> That's why I keep you guys around. You sure, Namba? Your brother's okay now, and he's getting married. What skin do you have in the game? Yeah, I know I've been a butt. But if my friends are gonna fight, so will I. I'm all in now. Besides, it'll make for a great speech at my brother's wedding. That settles it. Let's knock them on their asses.
Dai, capitolo 12. La fine della Yakuza. Sweat it, Chairman. Us young folks can handle this chow. Oh, definitely. My stomach's a bottomless pit. Bon appetit. Hell yeah! I got so focused on our food that we forgot to actually discuss anything. Oh, it is damn good. Yeah, yeah. But we have to get down to business. Guess I'm kicking us off. This is Kumekun, leader of Bleach Japan's Yokohama branch. He's going to run for this district's representative seat in the next election. Now what you gotta understand about this kid is he's just step one of Ryo Aoki's scheme to turn Ijincho into his personal political machine. Zhao's correct. Kume is just one step. Aoki's other steps include a huge number of Bleach Japan candidates all over the country. Yeah. I noticed that, too. Ah, then the dam is broken. There's no stopping it now. Governor Aoki's too popular. There's no one who can stand up to him. So you think Kume's win is a done deal, Chairman Hoshino? Pretty much. Kume has Aoki's broad public adoration at his back. Throwing Aoki's fundraising and media savviness. Kume's got a very real shot at this. I'd say so. He wants Ijincho so bad, it's gotten personal for him. Since it was Ogikubo's kingdom before, seizing it makes Aoki the new heir apparent. That's gotta be what he's thinking. Yes. I'd venture to say that even if the Citizens' Liberal Party wins every other district, he won't be satisfied unless he wins this one. He's gonna throw everything he's got at this contest. Definitely. Mm. Well, I'm not gonna roll over and just take it. Anybody with me? With you on what? <laughs> I'm taking this dude down a peg. I'm sick of getting our asses kicked. We all are, but... We can't just let him win. We need to do something. I mean, Bleach Japan is in bed with the Omi Alliance. Isn't that fucked up? It's... You know, hypocritical. They go around preaching about how gray zones need to go, acting like they're heroes or something. Meanwhile, they team up with gangsters to take over Japan, and everyone just claps for them? Thing is, Kasuga, these gangsters have a governor on their side. They're untouchable. Are you guys even hearing yourselves right now? What's gotten into you? The Ejin 3 used to protect the weak and vulnerable in this town. Granted, you did it by running a huge scam, so I'm not gonna give you too much credit. But after everything the city's given you, don't you feel like you owe something to it? Look, I know none of you guys did what you did just for the money. Okikubo was the one raking in all the dirty riches. You guys wanted to stop a war from destroying this town. And if you don't stand up now, you're basically abandoning the Ejin 3's purpose. It's a discreet. You sure you want to finish that thought? Yeah, dial it down, or I'll set you straight. Well, I for one agree with him. Uh, you do? Everything you said is true. We all lived in the Grey Zones, and sure, that ain't something to be proud of. But at least we could be proud of putting food on the tables of our men and their families. You're with me on that, at least, right, Sonoi? If we roll over, we will be throwing away everything we've ever worked for. Zhao. No, it's true. And remember, I left the Liumong in your hands. I trusted you to consider what my men need. This is shaping up to be your first job as their new boss. Come on, Song Hui. Damn it. Fine. Uh, Chairman Hoshino, you got any wisdom of your own to lend us? Well, 
I do understand the need to be fair to the city. I'll help. And to think, <laughs> I only came here for the food. Didn't expect to get roped into some noble last stand. You know what they say, there's no such thing as a free lunch. True that. Now let's go take care of Kume. I have to admit, I will enjoy knocking that little punk off his pedestal. So what's a move? Good question. We need to strike, but how? Don't you think it's obvious? No. What? We need to ruin the young master's reputation. Meaning? We gotta make sure Kume loses the election. Well, how do you propose we do that? Um, that part I hadn't really figured out. But once we do, it'll be like kicking Aoki right in the face! I don't see how it's feasible. I mean, we could maim him. If he's too injured, he'd have to pull out of the race, and then... You wanna kill him? Well, only if he resists. We can't do that. If he dies, I'll just replace him with some other tool. I'm sure they've got back. Infatti, ancora peggio se lo uccidono. Hey, winning. That's how we do it. We just win it ourselves. Huh? We win the election with our own candidate. Put someone up who can get more votes than Kume. There's got to be someone out there who can do it. Yes, probably. But how do we figure out who this someone is? Each band consultants. Well, we should remember the votes for Kume aren't really for him in the first place. Their votes for Aoki. Good point. Can you think of anyone who fits the bill, Chairman Hoshino? Unfortunately, I can't say I do. Ogi Kubo was an incumbent here for many years, with no opponents who posed any real threat. The only people who ever ran against him just did so as a formality. Hey, you seem to know a lot about it. Why don't you run? Excuse me? Yeah, people know who you are. You've got charisma. No Yakuza's gonna win an election, even in the Jincho. If he did, I'd consider the world doomed. <laughs> Seriously. But I could try to recruit someone who would have a chance in the race. That's a start. I hope you're not expecting me to shoulder this burden alone, though. What do you mean? Elections cost money. A lot of money. If I find a candidate, who's footing the bill for the campaign? Mm -mm. I'll tell you right now, my people don't have a single yen to spare. Right, so... Uh, how much is it exactly? I'm willing to chip in some myself. But I'll need an additional three million yen cash just to register. Three million? You need that much? At a minimum. If you can't scrape that amount together, this plan is dead in the water. <sighs> I hate to say it, but he's right. Can you do it, Kasugaku? Però ci abbiamo i soldi della nostra super società. Perfetto ragazzi, io penso che oggi ci fermiamo qui, però 3 milioni di yen oramai li facciamo veloci, proprio ve velocissimi. Poi um, dobbiamo andare al survive bar per aumentare il legame, uh, dobbiamo pedalatta, lo, lo faccio offline, pedalatta prendo un po' di cose per prendere i fazzoletti, così possiamo chiudere penso tutte queste cose blu. Um, è uscito pure un'altra qua e in questo posto non ci siamo mai stati tra le altre cose e poi dopo li, dove li dobbiamo portare i soldi vediamo un attimo dovrebbe contattarmi al nascondiglio ah ok ragazzi questo è quanto per stasera, noi ci vediamo domani, andiamo avanti.
ci dobbiamo solamente ricordare che dobbiamo andare a aumentare il legame. Il legame. Grazie, vi lascio una buona serata, ci vediamo domani. Ciao!